Dr. Corey Moss on Looking Your Best and thank you for visiting my blog site drmoss.com. I encourage you to take a look at our website at mossclinic.com where a lot of these answers are in more detail and there's a written textual information as well as some slide demonstrations so uh, hopefully you get a chance to visit those. Uh, today a question came, a patient actually came in and asked about Latisse and Latisse is bimatoprist, a molecule that uh, has been around for some time now. It was actually interestingly discovered as a result of people being treated for with drops in their eye for glaucoma. Latisse is a product manufactured uh, or at least uh, uh, distribute, manufactured and distributed by Allergan, the same people who make Botox and it is a eyelash enhancer. That's how it's been approved by the FDA. It's applied with a small brush at the base of the lashes. It's not placed in the eye, but as I said before, it was discovered through glaucoma. Those patients that were using it for high pressure in their eye or glaucoma uh, were noticing a significant increase in the fullness, darkness of their lashes, and actually the nurses that caught onto this were beginning to put drops of the molecule into their mascara and getting fuller lashes. This was picked up on by a couple of the non-pharmaceutical companies and placed in the, their products and different uh, name brands uh, for, from the different companies. And of course, later on, the FDA stepped in and told them they had to remove this because it's a controlled substance, so it's a prescription-only type of medicine, Latisse. It can be uh, purchased, in, at least in some states, directly from a doctor's office. In other states, it has to be purchased through a pharmacy with a prescription. The mechanism of action is not real clear. We know that it prolongs the life cycle of the uh, hair follicle that is producing the eyelashes. And the data shows a 30% increase in darkness uh, length and uh, thickening, the, the actual diameter of the hair shaft that's produced with use over a three month period. So one has to really, to see that full effect, use Latisse for the three month period. It's applied once a day at the base of the lashes with a little brush that's provided in the kit. Latisse has a new 5 ml or 5 milliliter bottle which will last the three full three months. And I think once people get to the full uh, correction in terms of restoration of their lashes. And many patients, by the way, and older patients, this is about lash restoration. Like most hair on our body, at least on our head, and uh, other areas where we want hair, uh, we have a tendency to thin and lose the hair with age. And so this really, in many ways, is an anti-aging treatment. But many people have thinner, we just want fuller lashes. There's a reason for mascara's use. And for those people, we'll see the full effect in about three months. And once you've gotten to the effect that you want, uh, people, I have my patients back it down to using it two or three days a week to maintain the lashes as they'd like them. I have had patients that, um, with full use, actually need to trim their lashes. That may be a little uh, more than is necessary. So again, we'll get them to where we like, and then they'll stay on them. There are a lot of questions about Latisse and its effects on the eye. Obviously, it was used directly in the eye, so the chances of it causing any eye damage is uh, infinitesimally small, tested for those reasons. Uh, there are a certain group of patients that have light green eyes with brown flecks that are at risk, at least from the studies with the drug originally. There is a small group of patients with light green eyes with brown flecks, at least from the original study, that uh, show that they can get darkening of the iris, the green part of their eye, with use if it gets directly in the eye. But remember, this was with the original product that was used uh, in the eye for glaucoma, and when we're using it in lashes, there's very little that's going to actually get in the eye. It is nonetheless reported as a side effect. Now, with that said, the uh, uh, Brooke Shields is the face model for Latisse, and she has the classic green eyes, and so has used it successfully. And I think it's, while it is a known risk, it is a very, very small one, even for very light green eyed people with the brown flecks in the eye for iris darkening. Hasn't been reported in blue eyed people, and certainly it shouldn't be an issue if applied correctly. 
Uh, lastly, with the uh, with the dangers, I think the one thing that we have seen is that it will cause hair growth in other areas. We've had it applied where people are not real careful at the base of the lashes. They'll touch their cheeks, and if you have hair follicles along your cheek area, I've had patients report increased density of the hair along the cheek. So you want to be careful to keep the lattice where you're applying it. It's very important conceptually, and it's on the skin. It can be slightly an irritant, so it can cause some hyperpigmentation or dark of the skin uh, as a result of that inflammation, and especially in darker skin patients. So again, this has to do more with applying it correctly and using very scarce amounts. In some patients, I'll actually have them use just the Q-tip and push a few drops at the base of a Q-tip, and that way you're not really spreading it on the skin itself. The net is that Latisse is a very successful uh, drug or, or a topical applicant and has, been, uh, has shown very good results and very good retention with people using it. And I encourage you, if you have any questions, to uh, reach out to the MossClinic.com site where you can find out more information. As always, Dr. Corey Moss, happy to hear from you and looking your best.